Happy New Year, gang. We are kicking the year off right, doing the live stream tomorrow evening, New Year's Day. Come hang out with the boys. Yeah, we got a lot planned. We got interviews with Patty. We got interviews with Denise. We're giving away a goddamn cruise, ladies and gentlemen. If you join the stream, we are going to be giving away a cruise to someone in the stream. It's going to be a good time. We got signature cocktails. We got guests coming by. Go to moment.co slash AYG. The link's in the description. Sign up today. Save a couple bucks. Let's do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that they're good to be classy. Yeah. After just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Tate Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs getting ready for the New Year's Eve festivities. Okay. Okay. She just picked up a bunch of those funny glasses that say the uh, the year on them. Uh-huh. 2019. Okay. But still, she yeah. got them on a deal. Uh-huh. All right, dickhead. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. <laughs> what the fuck? I haven't seen this guy in a week, and he comes at me like this. Ah, it's like you saw that one coming, huh? Uh, yeah, anybody did. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole world, unfortunately. <laughs> Give it up for KJ. It's Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Guy Come on. Chris and his kid. What's up, everybody? Thanks. For, <laughs> for a cruise, I charge. I charge a- Thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. All video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Shredder up. Fucking. Whoa. And obviously, you want to talk about really cooking. Hachi machi. Patreon.com slash are you garbage. Sign up. Join that fucking contingent of the Army of Garbage, It's a baby. good time over there. I'll it's tell you a that. good time. We got a lot of vlog stuff. We got fucking... You get weekly episodes of Hard Feelings, weekly episodes of AYG. It's a good fucking time. And then also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this is coming out on the eve... It is. ...of the big live stream. You're getting this a day early. Early release. Early release. You're getting this on Saturday, the day before the live stream. Gotta make room on the shelves for the live stream. <laughs> Everything must go, <laughs> daddy um, we are doing our live stream live from Toadies. It's going to be at moment.co slash AYG. New Year's Sign Day. up today if you're the day you're hearing this and you save a couple of bucks. Yeah. You save two tree bucks. Sign up. We got guests coming. We got Patty and Denise interviews. Cocktails. We got cocktails. We could do it. We're answering some questions from the chat, from the Patreon, a whole nine yards. Get fucking involved. And we're giving away a cruise. Oh, oh, I forgot about shit, that. That's I, right. I, I just, <laughs> that's in my right. head, I'm like, I know there's something else. And Foley's like, cocktails. I'm like, yeah, that's what it was. We're giving away a goddamn cruise because everybody loves them. Everybody wants a cruise. Now you got yourself a fucking cruise. So when you join the live stream, it's got to be live. You got to join live. Terms and conditions apply. You join live. Um, yeah, people were asking if I watch it later in the week, can I still win? Like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, also, Tony's got a fucking time machine. We go back in time and pull your name Be out. Be buried of in shrimp tails by then. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, so, yeah, we're giving away uh, something. We got to figure that out. We haven't really talked about it. What? Only that we're giving away. A cruise for two. I assume it'll be the same package you gave me, not the exact pack. Of course, I told you I did a lot of research on it, and what I did, the, the mon- October is the best time to go. <laughs> well, other than that, <laughs> the monetary value that I that I put in the gift card will cover uh, a three day cruise uh, from the bah- from Miami to the Bahamas. Now, if you're on the left coast or well, there's different like that, ports yeah. all over the place. But that different ports a call. What we could do is just do a thousand dollar gift card. To any cruise line. The li- cruise line of your choice. Cruise line of your choice. Okay. There it is. We're figuring it out in real time. All right. And you join, if you join the live well, stream. But we're not just sending a grand because you'll use it on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we want you to go on the cruise. Yeah, we want you to go on the cruise. You get $1,000. It's not transferable. No, no, no selling this thing for 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> hey, uh, well, you, nah, do you do it. What you you want, do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gift. That I'd respect. Yeah. Maybe throw a couple of <laughs> couple of fucking points my way. You want to get your neighbors out of their house for three days so you can root through their underwear drawer? Uh huh. There, there you go. You go. <laughs> Sniffing some panties. Let's do it. And boxers. That's how I do. Yeah. Uh, good yeah. Stuff. So check it out. It'll be a good time. We got a lot fucking planned. We put a lot of effort and money into this thing to make it cool and make it exciting and make it a fun time. So it's we're gonna doing be it. fun. Yeah. 
And tickets are still on sale for the February 3rd show of the Gramercy Theater. Uh huh. But they're starting to move a little bit. It's more than halfway gone. Yeah. So get those. There. That's going to go. So that's you- going to go. Don't, don't, don't sit around on that. If you're in the city, come see us. We love you. Thank mm-hmm. you for everything. What a great year. You guys are fantastic. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The Magic Man makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos, Damn. crosses the T's and dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, what's up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? And there's something else I keep forgetting. What's your middle name again? Benjamin. Benjamin. Is it really? What? It is. Was he being honest? Yes. Wait, you're fucking with me. Loser, Benjamin. <laughs> Correct. Benjamin. And this is how dumb I am. I often have to look at my ID to remember how to spell it correctly. I think you're lying because you wouldn't just tell me because I ask you all the time and you won't tell me. No, I've told you before. It's Thomas- really Benjamin? It sure is. Thomas Benjamin, Benjamin McMullen. That's correct. What? And it's his birthday, everybody. It was my birthday yesterday. Damn. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Shout Happy out. birthday, Pat. Happy Thank birthday. you very much. Shout That's out to all the, the bozos and homies who hit me up. Wish did they? Day. They did well, that, not. <laughs> no. Some people did. That's how I saw a comment on YouTube. It's Toby's birthday. And I said, I knew that. So I pulled out the old phone and sent a text. Hey, the, the, happy birthday to my best the pal. The 29th in the whole of December. World. Talk about fucking coming in the hard way. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> Fuck, between a rock and a bad holiday. I was given a birthday cake on Christmas. Talk about a tough look, oh, man. Splitting your cake with Jesus. That ain't, <laughs> that ain't no good. <laughs> Turns your piece into crumbs. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> Not Wait, great. Did you do it this year? They gave you the they gave you the birthday cake. Sure, because I got a I got a cousin or a, a, a yeah I got a cousin who also has the same birthday. We had a little shared cake. It was very sweet. Oh, what? Did I know that? I told you before we started recording. Oh, you did? Okay. Wow, you share one. Man. Now, normally, would you yeah, be- he's out to lunch and dinner. Normally, would you be together on your birthday and you have to share a birthday cake with them? No, 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 no. They live in North Carolina. He probably hasn't spent a birthday with his family in a hundred I'm saying years. when he was a kid, whatever. So, no, no. I, that, they, so they, at least you kind of got that spotlight growing up. Sure. You just shared it with Jesus. Yeah. My parents had a birthday tree and a Christmas tree. Very <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, my God. Got these, me in the local these, newspaper. These backwoods hillbillies. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> the mayor was a possum. <laughs> I got you five meetings, five minutes with the with the mayor. No, I'm kidding, Mom. The birthday tree was great. <laughs> um, since everybody was home and and around, and around their families, uh-huh. like that, I got two things to propose for you. What's that, pal? Is it trash if you keep clean pots and pans? Like, not you're not cooking with them. You're not cooking. They're not dirty. Mm-hmm. If you leave them on the stove, if that's where they live, is that trash? If they live there, that's bad. You think so, huh? Uh, what do you say, Hillbilly? They shouldn't be out. They yeah? Should, yeah? Unless they're hanging in a nice kind of ordeal. Now, on the stove. They're, they live I on do the it. stove. I did it this morning. I washed my two little pans after I made my, my brekkie. And uh, I put them right back on the stove because they were still a little wet or what. I just kind of was like, eh, I'll deal with that later. Yeah, you figure if you put them in there, mushrooms will grow on them or something like that. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, really? That's what you worry about? <laughs> mushrooms Sometimes. growing on your pots and pans between breakfast and lunch? <laughs> That's why you eat, eat quick. <laughs> I don't want moss growing on my, <laughs> on my skillet. Um, that was the first thing. Yeah, that is trash. They should be away, especially if company's over. I mean, one thing, if it's there, you'll whatever, you'll get to it. But that's not, you can't keep them on there like it's a, no, like no. it's a showroom. It's, first of all, it's not a no. showroom. No. Okay. And the second. And also, one- what showroom do you go where you're like, oh, I, what, what would it look like if the pans were on this stuff? Uh, Ikea does that, don't they? I don't think so. No, I love those Ikea showrooms. Yeah. Which makes me think of what like a different life I would have. Yeah, but there's always, always a family in the next room fucking, you know, <laughs> your dad's got the mom in a headlock. <laughs> That's just some stock boy who missed breakfast. He's just cooking in the <laughs> just aisles. Cooking, yeah. <laughs> Keep it moving, fatty. Go check out the linens. That and do you have a relative that <laughs> a, a male relative that always misses a little tiny spot when they're shaving? Oh uh, yeah, not yeah. always, but I, I that was the first I did notice that on a couple of uncles. Ooh. <laughs> My dad for a while just, had a little baby mini Hitler right here, <laughs> that little tiny one sure. that he always missed. Mm-hmm. That brutal. And, there's a certain age you get where you you miss the neck, oh. and you get like four long hairs, and you're like, you didn't really. Well, after you shave, you got to get up. Cl- I get up real close, and I got the trifold mirror. 
I check it from every angle. You give it this, you give it that. Really? Because I'm yeah. getting to that. I'm kind of in that now. What? That <laughs> uh, I got a lot of shit going on. I got. I have. I have. I have that's I have, a that's an understatement, but sure. I got the ear hair. I have the long. I have a long hair on my ear that just goes and goes and goes, and I forget about it. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Okay. You forget about it, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Oh shit!" And then, boink, you pull it out. Mm-hmm. I got that. I'm starting to get the 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 facial hair that's going up towards my eye. I got that. Or like I'm shaving my cheek, yeah. like a fucking <laughs> <laughs> like a skunk ape. <laughs> <laughs> it's brutal. And in yeah. my in my ear, forget about it. Mm-hmm. So you got you to take care of it as you get older. I know. I got to go back to the girls and get my eyebrows hooked up too. Mm-hmm. And I'm in serious need of a of a petty. Man. But it's not the toes, it's the feet. And they know it when I come in. I give them a 20 before they I tip them before they start. They, That's dude, what alcoholics do. <laughs> That's how you tip mean? the bartender before you start drinking. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm going to need it quick and I'm going to need it fast, all right? <laughs> Cold and fast. Let's go. <laughs> no, man, I, I, I let them know. Because there's a lot of exfoliating going on in the bottom of them feet. And they break right. out the cheese grater and they fucking shave it all off. So I got to go back and get all gussied up. <laughs> uh, oh, I have two things. One thing I, I forgot about it this morning. I was going to tweet it. I was making my eggies. I typically like a little bit of cheese in my eggies. Sure. You know what I mean? A little bit of shredded cheese. If you got a slice of a mouth, whatever. Just Remember something. that? I don't know about you. That wasn't that wasn't a, a birthright for me when I was a kid. No, I just started doing it recently. Man. I feel like a goddamn aristocrat. I think I was like 10 or 11 when she started putting little pieces <laughs> of Velveeta, Velveeta in there. Uh, I Slow. didn't do it. I didn't do it. But. My only option, and I I contemplated it heavy. Parmesan? The shake Parmesan. That's okay. That's I don't okay. think it is. Shake Parmesan? <clears throat> Let me tell you something about that shake. Well, first I, of hold all, on. You call I, it, it's grated Parmesan, you animal. It's not. It's shake not Parmesan. any of that. It's What fucking, are you using, the craft of the green bottle? Or do you I, get the nice? You get Locatella. You get Locatella. No. Store. That's like damn bucks. The bird don't allow it, first of all. She'll buy the fresh. She typically buys the fresh Parmesan and, 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 sh- does and shreds it? it. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We um, have that thing now, too. It's it's a cheese grater, <coughs> but it like it looks like a shovel, and what? then it just has the little dots in it. Where, you, where I think it, that's for fruit. Is it? Uh, maybe. I guess no. everything. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The little like handle one that looks like you do your to- you do your heels with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's for yeah, fruit. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> over anything. Yeah. But I didn't do it, but I was all, I was like, cause just because it would have ruined them and I was out of eggs. It wouldn't have ruined them. I don't know. It wouldn't have been great. <laughs> I, uh, That's not true. It's, it's also it's, like. It's, 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 it's uh, Parmesan cheese. Pecorino Romano. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ, it's a family show here. <laughs> Take your Pecorino and do whatever you want with it on your own time. Ray Romano's Italian cousin, huh? Uh, I, I have some breakfast news from down south. Okay. Cindy's got Has your- a squirrel this time of year. <laughs> Is it flying? <laughs> <laughs> a flying squirrel. That's an Easter. Are you kidding me? Uh, Cindy's got your back fully. On what? She cooks the whole pack of bacon. But does really? it eat? There you go. No. Yeah, that's the problem. The problem. I didn't was, say that I ate it. I yeah, saw, I, I clearly said you go, to, go to the tape. Wait, I know. I watched tape. it. You've admitted that it gets eaten throughout the day. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> I, I guarantee that. you, his mom is not eating a pack of bacon. I a day. bet you the old man goes in there and picks. <laughs> he does. See, sure. There you I'm go. not. Yeah. I, listen. The 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 argument was, you're not a guy who can have just made bacon laying around. And have the restraint to eat it. Sure. But she said, but you do it in the oven like a gentleman, is what she uh, said. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'll give her that. Um, I'll give her that. So I didn't do that. I didn't do the cheese, but it was one of those moments of like, I, this feels like it's like one step above dog food or something. <laughs> Why? That's not, and you know, it's not a First ban- of all, it's, it's, dude, it's just cheese that's just if you, it, open and fine forever. Whatever. What's in that? Nothing. It's aged. Dry aged. What are you talking about? Dry aged. It's aged cheese. It's not cheese. Called- all cheese is aged. Yeah, they age it a little longer. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was cheese monger over here. <laughs> do you not put your cheese in the fridge? I do. I do. But that just sits out on the shelf forever. Sure. That could sit out on the shelf for years. But there's an expiration date. It's first of all they don't even put it on the shelf. They put it in the tube and that hangs off the shelf. The tube. It's a little like dispenser. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd like to know what brand that is because I don't think it would have been that bad if you. Okay, there's two ways you could have done that. It was more of like a I don't want I don't 
You could have sprinkled that in while you were cooking it. Or at the end, when you're done and you put it on your plate, you can hit it with a little bit of that. I know. I'm aware. And you know what's not a bad combination? This might be an unpopular uh, opinion. This might be decisive. Decisive. The parma- undecisive. Huh? Divisive. Divisive. Um, we the- plug you back in. <laughs> the Parmesan cheese and a little bit of ketchup goes together pretty well. I don't know. All you right. put that Parmesan cheese on anything. I, I love s- it. I, I, sp- I sprinkle it on my salad. I'll give you. And yeah, really I don't good. know. It just it just felt like such a cheap substitute to like I was looking for some nice shredded, you know, something. Breadcrumbs would have been a cheap substitute. And then to put fucking, you know, sawdust on my eggies in the morning <laughs> when I'm trying to fucking sit there like a gentleman. That just didn't feel right. Uh, um blue cheese would have been a Oh man. That's Dude, f- some crumbled blue cheese will turn an egg around though. You chop it up a I used really? to do feta a lot. The feta is great. Feta. Oh man, I great. when I first found out about feta, it was uh, probably four years, four years ago. It was the first time I had it. became a line item in my monthly expenditure. Oh. I was buying fresh feta. It's great. Like, I was putting it in everything. Yeah. Didn't come across that until I was probably about 25. Yeah. Feta is fucking fantastic. But blue cheese and eggs? I'm joking. Oh. I do like crumbled blue cheese. Of course. It's fa- not in eggs, though. What's the difference? Ugh. I don't know about that. It's not bad on a burger, I'll tell you. The, um, the shelf life of Kraft Parmesan grated cheese, 10 to 12 months in the refrigerator. In the really? refrigerator? Yeah. What is it on the shelf, though, before you open it? Some of that stuff sits there for like a decade. <laughs> I don't that know. That ain't good. I don't know. What other cheese lasts that long, too? That don't make any sense. <laughs> the roaches will be eating that. <laughs> that don't make no sense. No other cheese you get lasts a year. Well, we were kids. You, I, you know, Irish, I, Irish household. She bought one of those every two years. Uh, I went through it. That yeah. on some butter noodles. Hoo-wee. Yeah, we didn't really fuck with it. <laughs> well, we were bit. heavy on it. Yeah, it would, it would, it would get, it would turn into a, a boulder before. Yeah, you'd have to really give oh, it the fuck. Yeah. Ta- you'd really have to tap the fifty sevens on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> loosen that up a little bit. Give that thing a couple of drinks. Get um, loose. Another thing too. Obviously, Christmas just passed, and in some uh, somber news, my stepfather passed away. Um, so we were down there at the house, you know, the whole thing. And, uh, it was a day or two after, uh, after Christmas. And so I was down there and I left yesterday. I came back up <coughs> to New York yesterday and I was getting ready to leave the house. Uh huh. And you know, it's like Christmas just happened. Sure. Right? So there's like boxes and gifts and the trees, everything's up. So I got my stepdad a $50 gift certificate to Wawa. That's what he likes. That's what it was. He would have wanted me to have the sizzling. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to leave, and that gift card's just sitting there. Can you spend the dead man's Wawa gift card is what I want to know. A $50 <laughs> gift card. That's what you got him? That's all he wants. I might, it was a very unique man. My, my sister bought him the same flannel every year. My brother bought him uh, something else, a button-up maybe that he would wear, and then I would get him a $50 gift card. I think last year I was probably a $20 gift card, we're being honest, but I made a couple of bucks this year, so I sprung for the 50 <laughs> He deserved it. He was a great man. <laughs> okay. But is it crazy? My mom goes, take it, take it. It just didn't. That's her. Felt like now. I was robbing his grave. <laughs> He's gonna need it to pay the boat, man. <laughs> Two Exxon cards over his eyes. That's terrible. Wow, wow, we're a wow, wow family. Yeah, dude. That that's now your mom's. You can't take. She that. told me to, I didn't steal it. She. Told She's me. in mourning. What the fuck? <laughs> Poor woman's in shock. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so if anybody's out there, I'm trying to get. There's no Wawa's around here. I'm willing to. I'm willing to part ways with it get for a, a cash value. Get an extra large bag of flips. Going like you can't take it with you. <laughs> Listen, you gotta spend. You know, you gotta. You say a bag of flips? Yeah. Some chocolate covered pretzels? Oh, yeah. Ooh, shout out to them. Uh, oh, those things are all right. Yeah. I were. remember when they hit the scene. I, I do too. It's like My disco. buddy Pat gave me the rundown. He goes, they keep the salt on them. That's what makes it so good. <laughs> Woo That stuff's all right. Oh, that and a fruitopia. Good night. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a dirtbag. <laughs> yeah, man. I didn't spend it yet, and I did go to Wawa to get said sizzly. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> what am I, an asshole? I got a sizzly, two diet iced teas. I don't know how they make and that. And a large cup of coffee. God damn, those sizzlies are all right. Uh-huh. Pretty uh, good. 
Oh, I had another thing. While I was at said Wawa, not yeah. using the gift card, paying with my own my own bucks. Uh-huh. Okay, let's talk about that rocket money, baby. Ah, uh, that rocket money. Ooh, we saving you money on your subscriptions because you got a bunch of subscriptions that you don't realize sure. you have. You think you're spending 20, 50, 80 bucks a month no. when you're getting jacked up about two, three hundred. Yeah. So they do. They go through. Mm-hmm. They cancel all the subscriptions you're not using. Push you a button. Yeah. Easy peasy. It double. It's uh. It's fantastic. You can even find out if you've been double charged for a subscription. What's happening out there? Sons Those big bitches. corporations trying to wet their beak now once or twice. Double oh, dipping on you. Oh, we didn't know. Blah blah blah. To cancel subscriptions, easy. Just press cancel. Rocket Money takes care of the rest. There easy go. peasy, baby. I did it. I found out. I was paying for uh some some bogus fucking streaming site. Were you? Yeah, something I signed up for a free trial, and then they were just taking out like 14 bucks a month every time. Sons of bitches. So you get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Seriously, it could save you hundreds of dollars per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Do it. Okay, let's talk about true classics. Oh, baby, love that true classic. Let's talk about the most comfortable, best fit in T-shirt out there. Best in the best. And big boys, here's the scoop. Everyone's been giving me shit saying I'm a 5X. I squeeze into their 3X, I know. and it feels really good. I wear it as my undershirt to keep me warm in the winter. And let me tell you, when I lose the weight, I'll be a true classics man through and through. Pipes feel good. That does. Belly doesn't show. It's all I wear, baby. Comfy, cozy. I've been a true classic man way before they even started advertising on a podcast. That's how much I love it. And you got to cycle new ones in. You've worn the hell out of your shirts. Get them in. I order a couple like every every two months. I get a pack. Come in and keep it fresh. You look good. They feel good. Your first step to feeling good is looking good, baby. Stop being a dirtbag. What are you doing with your life? Uh, you can get 25% off at trueclassic.com slash garbage. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com slash garbage. Uh, Santa won't be the only one slaying this time of year, thanks to True Classics. I put one on, and my wife wants to have sex with me. It's great. 25% <laughs> off at trueclassics.com slash garbage. Do it. I saw maybe one of the toughest looks that I've seen because I was there. Okay. I've, been, I've, I've done something very similar. I've done it. But the guy in front of me, buying a couple two-tree things, probably, you know, was like 35 bucks. I think he had like a pack of smokes, you know, he had a couple of sandwiches, whatever. It looked like he was like getting stuff for like the office or whatever. Sure. You know what I mean, a group of people, maybe the family or whatever. And he, uh, they cater now too, by the way. Wawa does. Yeah, they do. I'm getting divorced and then getting married again, just to have them do that. Um, they uh, so his card gets declined. Guy in front of you. Guy in front of me. Not judging. Uh huh. You know. I've been there. Been it's there the a bank. lot. I don't know. They, they, their computers were down. Um, Something. That's what you say. She goes, no, it doesn't go through. So now you're thinking, what do I do? I jump in. It's the holidays. Do I help them out? Really? <laughs> Maybe just so happen a little bit. Just so happen <laughs> to have a $50 <laughs> gift card on me. Um, no, I'm just sitting there waiting. I'm like, whatever. It's just awkward because it's like it's taking a while. He goes, oh, I don't know. Let me try again. I'm like, buddy, save yourself. Don't do it again. We know it ain't going through. You do the same card twice. Then you go to the lie. Let me try another card. Oh, fuck. I don't have it on me. This, yeah, of course. Then you throw coffee in their face. <laughs> you grab and make, a, make a move for the safe. <laughs> You douse them in orange drink, run for the door. <laughs> that stuff's sticky. Been getting that out of their hair for weeks. <laughs> and you duck down because they got the tape measure on the door. Yeah. <laughs> They're looking for some dickhead who's 5'3". <laughs> I'm 5'8". They have no idea. Um, no. So he typically that's a shame that is usually a shameful process for the person in it. Right, you're like, that's oh, a, hold I'm on. sorry, Here's shit, the thing. I bought That's whatever. a shameful process for the dirtbag who doesn't have money. That's why we have always had shame in it, because we were always lying, knowing full well that it was probably going to get declined, <laughs> or it was a 50-50 shot. Sure. People who have, you know, backup credit cards and, you know, all that kind of stuff, they're, they just, they know that it's an electronic issue. It just, this, I wasn't getting electronic issue vibes from this guy. This guy was hemmed up? It seemed hemmed you up. You straightened him out? No. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> this is the season. Hey, buddy, I got a haunted gift card if you need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yikes. Um, but 
So he, what he did was he goes, oh, this is bullshit. Pulls out the banking app on his phone. Uh-huh. And he goes, look, I got money. And I'm like, oh. Oh, that, that's a bad, that's a guy who knows he's wrong. I, I, first of all, I think that was a screenshot. Yeah, screenshot. From someone is- else. You Google Chase banking app picture. No, you had money in July of 2021. <laughs> so that's an old statement. <laughs> Ah, this poor bastard. Yeah. So what'd you do? He he then started moving some suit at one point. He's on his phone and just not even worried about the line or all. Oh, hold on, take him. Let me, you know, I got to transfer. He's on the phone. Who's he talking to? Nobody. He's talking to the person. What person? The cashier. Oh, he's I think showing he them was... like the banking oh, okay, app. Okay. She's like, what the fuck, sir? I don't care. Gotcha. And not at one point does he go, oh, step, oh, I'm sorry, here, take him, whatever, you know. My, my, now my sizzly's getting cold. <laughs> got breakfast to eat. I'm going to put this back in the heat lamp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, it looks like he's going to be a while. <laughs> I'm going to get this back under the light. Okay. Um, dude, at one point he's got Venmo open. He's got. He's just looking for, like, couch change oh, at this man. point to make this person. He finally made it, but it took about... Two minutes of okay. him just sitting. That's too long. I feel, I feel you step aside. <coughs> hey, I'm sorry. I tell you Let what. Me, hold on. Just give me a second. If you got me behind you and you step aside, I'm taking care of that for you. If it's reasonable. I'm not dropping two G's in <laughs> a wah <laughs> Three cartons of fucking palm moles, this guy. <laughs> not buying Bernie's for the boys. Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting a pallet of lunch meat or anything. <laughs> because that shows a little humility, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question for you, fellas. Hold on one second. Speaking of Wawa, shout out to Chris at the Flower Town Wawa. Was kid, I there? Kid works uh, there. Okay. Saw him the other day with my cousin. Get back here with that sizzly, <laughs> fat ass. <laughs> you didn't pay for that. <laughs> Said he loves the show, him and his brother. So shout, um, out, shout out to him. Shout out, Chris. Great to meet you, buddy. Also, another dirtbag move performed by Kevin James Ryan. Um, I would, first, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mike at Suplex Sneakers down there on South. Of Street. course, um, I hit him up for shoes for the boys, the kids, the, my my nephews. Uh, which is crazy, because kids love shoes now. To get shoes as a kid, you were like, "Give me a toy, give me a gun, give it's me something," you know. Yeah, my nephews the same way. They like the shoes. So I go, yo, he goes, I go, I need these and a four one and these and an eight or whatever. Hits me up. He goes, y'all send them to the crib. No problem. Cool. But I go, what do I owe you? He goes, nothing. Hmm. Shout out to him. But now I'm giving free, I'm giving shit I got for free as a gift. Man. Talk about a slime ball. I know, slime dude. Slime ball Christmas. That and the $50 gift card I made out pretty good this year, dude. <laughs> I'm up, baby. I'm up, baby. Yeah, it felt real slime. I had to tell the, I had to tell my brother and my sister. I told him like I didn't. I I'll get them something else, but I just can't. I can't walk around like I paid for these, man. Uh, if it comes out in the future, I'm really fucked. I think I could have. I could have handled that. <laughs> what do you mean? I I would I I, I would have been okay with that. <laughs> with what? Letting letting them think that I paid for them. Oh, for sure. But I big just, shout outs, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just didn't feel right. I was like, let me give you something so I don't feel like a fucking whore. You kids like Wawa by any chance. <laughs> what are your thoughts on a shorty? I got a, I got a Wawa style question for you, fellas. Fire away, T Bone. Have you ever left a penny? Take a penny, leave a penny. Uh, always. Yeah, I leave pennies. Uh, yeah. I was always real nervous with the give a penny, leave a penny because my math was never that. I always felt like my math was off. My dad used to do that and would fuck cashiers up. That started in the 90s, right? I, I believe it did. Um, they didn't do that shit in the 80s. My real dad would do like the, uh, hey, it's five. Yeah, your total's 537. Leave and he pen- would give a Leave like, a penny, take a dollar. No, he, he would hand them like 13, 12 and be like, you, you know, after. Wait, say that again. They would be like, hey, your total is 557. Okay. And then he would. Not want all the ones in the chain, so he would be like, he would give them like eleven dollars, and I'm making this up because I don't know the math, but like seventy two cents. He'd be like, just give me ten fifty back. Oh, you know man. what I mean? And the guy, it's like a thirteen year old cashier, and he's already like entered, so he's now got to do the math, and the rest of the Wawa line is jammed up, doing string theory. Like, and then like he like you know. Here, you owe me two bucks. It was like, he might have been conning him. I don't know. Well, some meth head with an abacus. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That is, um, 
uh, that usually is a red flag. What? To you know, just from me working, you know, behind a register, that's a red flag. Somebody comes in. Obviously, your dad wasn't doing that, but when somebody comes in and starts doing the, you know, the three con, uh, give me this, uh, this back, and bah, 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 uh-huh. this twenty. You know, you're getting no. Hustled. It was always it was always a move because it was like I don't want the seven pennies and the you know it was like sure just give me or like and like the ones or whatever you sure know what I mean? just give me a five back I'll give you an extra dollar and instead of giving me four give me a full five back or sure that and whenever made me nervous when everybody somebody tries to pay something really small with a large bill you know you you know it's a fake bill I had one fake bill one time I got back from a golf course or like a driving range I broke a hundred. I think they gave me a 20. Yeah. And it looked wonky. And I took it somewhere, and they were like, no. I'm like, really? Like, I took it to a, I went to a Burger King, to be honest with you. I got shut down from a Burger King with it. Did you know it was fake? I didn't. It looked wonky. And she's like, sir, we can't take this. <laughs> this is not the king's currency. <laughs> <laughs> this must be from a faraway land. <laughs> this is an outrage. The king is expecting me. You realize that? You realize you're holding me up. You knew Marcus Aurelius? <laughs> now, I'll take my burger buddies. <laughs> the Burger King original chicken sandwich, the long one. Yeah, they turned that into a parm probably around 2001. I was all or bro, the Italian or something. Bro, my brother, we, dude, they were so fucking good. Yeah. The chicken parm, the long one. Then they start getting in that bullshit, trying to compete with Popeyes and whatever. Hey, you don't need all that rock and roll shit. <laughs> You fucking keep it old school, baby. Still you rock got and the roll long to me, baby. You got the long dinger. You got the hog. Yeah, it's chopped up chicken meat, but what the fuck? A chicken patty's great. Uh-huh. Man, their parm, that was really. I know. If there's re- been a parm made, I've had it. Yeah. All right? That was really something I else. I yesterday. Hold uh, on. What? What were you saying? Oh, yes. All right, so you're. Trying to pass fake fake money at Burger King. <laughs> I'm not trying. I had suspected yeah, it, and I on. was it was. But yeah. you still tried to use it. Well, to, I, was, I mean, to wet your whistle. Given, I didn't print it out or anything. It was given to me as change. So you're pushing so it off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be out twenty what, bucks. Now, That's a big corporation. They, they account for that every year. It's a write off. They them. probably threw that kid in the moat with the alligators at the end of his shift. Off with his head. That's Fake bad. Fake bills in my kingdom. That's bad debt. No, that kid had to pay for that at the end, no, at the end no, of his shift. No, well, he, that little fucking So you could stuff your fat face it. with a bacon double cheeseburger, <laughs> you that piece was, of shit. That little twerp didn't take it and embarrassed me in front of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know how embarrassing that was? I had to watch my friend eat a chicken parm and not me. <laughs> also, what a wild day. Went to a driving range and then Burger King. Talk about a couple of studs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Went and shanked a bucket of balls and, you know, ate 14,000 calories at lunch. I'm surprised you could fit through the door with all that pussy hanging off you, huh? <laughs> Hey, probably pawing at you. <laughs> Whoo, <wee. coughs> we walked in there like these guys have fake money for sure. <laughs> I pulled up in the Illumina too. You walked in smelling like chicken fries. <laughs> these guys stink. <laughs> oh man. So I went I had to go to like two or three places and I finally got saw I finally got a deli to take it. <laughs> Poor bastards. Should have had the marker, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, what a scumbag. <laughs> what, hey, Doug, what do you mean I'm not a scumbag? <laughs> <laughs> I was all hopped up on chicken parm. I didn't know what to do. I was chasing the drag. I was chasing the chicken. Look, if you're going to take a yellow 20, that's on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. When was Big Bird the president? <laughs> you don't remember that impeachment hearing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> now, I remember I uh, worked uh, when I was working downtown. Uh, this chick came in trying to get like a coffee with a hundred. I was like, "That the fuck? This ain't." Good. Took sure. one look at that thing, hit it with the pen, was like, "Nah, this is no good." I uh, yeah, I never care. I never cared enough. Um, a small business. I worked for small, a small business, business. A little different, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm like a jam with my boss. Still, you can have someone pass that off. You know, you pass that off somewhere else, but. 
We got to get into some fucking questions, baby. This is a goddamn uh, family up. I do remember. Hold on. Sorry that I <laughs> that we I, I started a war with the right aid in Astoria because we uh, this this is going back. This is, I don't know, four years ago. Okay. They got rid of the king size Snickers and I wouldn't stand for it. <laughs> they split them up into two. What are we doing? Um, uh, I had money Western Union to me. Ooh. You want to talk about low? I remember. I didn't know what that was. And then when I was working at Acme. I thought a couple of cowboys were going to show I up. I know. Well, Western Union, it sounds like, you know. It was, I it think. It was back, at yeah, one point. Back in the, at one point, yeah, back in the day. That's how you communicate. You get a Western Union telegram. But you would, like, call Some money to somebody? Money. It didn't make any sense. Yeah. Real everybody's shifty. IDs were always expired. Uh, if you're getting money, Western Union, to, you, there's no way you have a valid driver's license. I've I've done it. I've... I've I've oh, had to do expired. it. It's expired. It's in someone else's. You got to put it in someone else's name. I've had to do it. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm putting put it in my girl's name and she doesn't have her license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Talk about a trail of dirtbaggery. Um, but you get it from the you get it from the register there. Yeah. And they 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 gave us a fake hundred in it. And we went back to try to fight it. We went back multiple times to try and fight it because I needed that. hundred. Sure. Fucking wild. They never did. We still go there, too, like idiots. <laughs> hey, yeah, the right A's got their hooks in you. What are yeah, you going to do? do? That's how they got you. Um, That's how they get you. But it is a family episode, so we'll answer your questions from the Patreon. When you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. We got a lot of submissions from other ways, Instagram, DMs, emails, all nine yards. But Patreon gets the first crack at it. Uh, and while we're doing a little plug-in, check out that live stream. <laughs> if you buy today, if you buy before... The first, you'll save a, save a couple of bucks. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So do that. Wet your whistle. Wet your mm -hmm. beak, you know? Um, all right, let's see. This one is... Speaking of which, I had a little sip of Yoohoo yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, we're doing drinks. Can't wait to get that on my... Get that Man, that going. drink was... We did, we had that. That drink was fucking awesome. The milk with dinner. We did. Kahlua. Shout out to Brooklyn Comedy Club. Shout out to Brooklyn Comedy Club. Yeah. Ed over there. He said he concocted it. Yeah. It's Yoohoo. Kahlua and vodka. Pretty good. On the rocks, I think. We yeah, had it was it. delicious. Woo Great spot over there, too, to check out a show. It's a good um, time. All right, this one's from Luke, $10 shareholder. First time question Is it garbage if your sister and your aunt get into a fist fight at your grandma's wake right in front of the open coffin until the point that the funeral home workers had to split them up and kick the whole family out? Let me know. Thanks. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. What's the next one? <laughs> Sister and who? <coughs> Sister and aunt. Sister and aunt. That's a tough one. Um, Cousins or brother and sister, I'll allow. Yeah. Just because that's like, if you're but a sister your... and an aunt. When are, like, how long have you had been beefing? You know what I mean? Yeah. You're fighting an aunt. That's a tough look. Fight your niece. That's a tough look. Yeah. Although I did want to strangle my nephew <laughs> a couple of days ago, but Fair I love enough. him. He's a good kid. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's tough. But, hey, it's an emotionally charged event. You know what I mean? The passing of a loved one. Yeah, I can see how you're In front of the up. coffin? Probably boozing a little bit. Sure. Not at, no, wait, what? At the viewing? You're not boozing at the viewing. What? There's no open bar at the viewing. Yeah, you could take some nips. You got something cooking. No, what are you talking about? You, wait, that's, you do the luncheon. That's when, you, that's when you tie no, it on. No, I've definitely drank pre-funerals and viewings. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm mourning, people. <laughs> yeah, you got to get after a little bit. <laughs> All black in a solo cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shades on got backwards. Out. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. This one's from Mr. Neptune 2022. Okay. $10 investor here. Never had a question asked. Is it garbage to always have a pot of coffee going? <laughs> <laughs> also, what are your thoughts <laughs> on reheating cold coffee that's been sitting in the pot for an unknown amount of time? Uh, the, the day? The, I'm assuming the day. Yeah, the always day. Always having a cup of coffee. That's like... That's like fireman shit. That's like, you know what I mean? That's like, yeah, if you're not, if your job doesn't require it, it's pretty trashy. But I'll tell you this, you know, it's a pretty good cup of coffee. 
wherever you get your muffler or your fucking oil change or whatever. In a styrofoam cup with a little non And if they cleaner. have a little table that looks like if you touch it, it's gonna everything's going to fall over and uh-huh. shatter. It's usually not. It's usually like an end table from a living room, too. It's never like for that purpose. It's always repurposed. Powdered non-dairy creamer, sh- white sugar, mm-hmm. and one of those old Mr. Coffee coffee pots. Mm-hmm. No lid. No. Dude, in the air, the, man, the, the spores get to it. Dude, you put that in there with one of them straws while you're chewing a piece of gum. Woo wee! Start talking shop <laughs> real quick. Yeah, I got a nudie calendar hanging on the wall. <laughs> oh, Getting man. it done right. That's a cup of coffee right there. Uh-huh. That's all right. I don't mind that shit. Gang, the show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. This time of year. Go- when you really go nuts, you need someone <laughs> to talk to. Someone to talk you. Talk you down. I get it. I'm a crazy guy myself. If you're thinking about losing it. <laughs> talk to BetterHelp, Take man. Take a step back and talk to BetterHelp. Hey, man, it's the winter. What do they call it? Seasonal this? Seasonal depression. After the holidays, ba ba ba. It's tough. It's a tough time of year. It really shows the cracks. There's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure financially, at work, the deadlines, the this, the that, dealing with the family, the whole nine yards. I get it, baby. Therapy is very important. Talk therapy is a fantastic tool to have. And with BetterHelp, they make it very easy. Therapy option that's convenient, flexible, affordable, entirely online. You fill out a brief questionnaire. Uh, you get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time. No additional charge. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you want to <clears throat> live a more empowered life, therapy there can you get you there, baby. Take it. Grab life by the balls. Do it. Yeah. Visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage today. Get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. One more time. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Do it. Mm-hmm. Kip, it's Adam and Eve time, baby. Woo! Listen up, you perverts. <laughs> 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 Calling all freaks and weirdos. Attention, <laughs> attention. Pull your pants down. Let's party. Gang, you like having sex? You like getting weird in the bedroom? You like sticking things up your ass that came in the mail? <laughs> sure. We all do. Uh-huh. Do yourself a favor. Get over there to Adam and Eve. And what do they got cooking right now? I think it's almost anything on the site's 50% off. Is Our listeners right? get 50% off almost any what item. Do Just use code GARBA to check out and you'll get 50% off plus free shipping. That's 50% off an adventurous new toy, yeah, a slippery lube, or almost anything else you desire. I'm so glad that we're now in the age where that's all, you know, nothing's taboo anymore. You do whatever you want. You enjoy yourself. I know. In the privacy of your own home. Yeah, and the coolest thing is they send a discreet package. Of course. It doesn't show up saying boners.net. Shove it. <laughs> My wife likes it weird.org. That's what I would want. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to look at people, people in 2R getting loose. You open it up in the lobby and it gets a blow up doll. I want the boys to know what I can handle. Uh, seriously, guys, all jokes aside, it's a fantastic website. So go to adamandeve.com, select any one item that you want to put in your butt and use code garbage. <laughs> That's adamandeve.com. Put something in, put your wiener in something, put something in you, mm-hmm. use code garbage, adamandeve.com. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Yeah. Um, I don't think uh, the pot of coffee on all day, I kind of think that's classy, to be no, honest with you. No. Uh-huh. I don't know. No, a cappuccino machine is classy. Yeah. Do you want an espresso? I got, I got a, we got the, the espresso machine or whatever. No, get out of here with that bullshit. A nice, pot of, a nice pot of coffee on all day on, on a cold day when you're working. That's pretty yeah, but good. If you're just sitting in your house watching TV and you got coffee going, you're not expecting company. That's like psychopath shit. That's to stay up and watch the neighbors. That's real weird. Uh, dude. Patty keeps it going until about noon. You get a hot cup of coffee over at the Foley until about one o'clock in the afternoon. You want Denise moved to the fucking Keurig, which I respect because when I'm there, I don't like them. I don't love them. It's not my favorite cup of coffee, but it's instant. It's Plastic. right away. I know, but it's right away. You, it's bada bing, bada boom. I got a cup of coffee. I'm not doing it every day when I'm there. Want a cup of coffee? You got coffee in fucking 90 seconds. Ain't nothing better than that. But every that thing is empty every time I go over. I'm the guy who fucking fills the water. I'm oh, like, sure. What are you doing here? Yeah. Get this thing hardwired, piped in. My Aunt Mary Catherine and Uncle Red used to have <coughs> Taster's Choice, which was freeze-dried. The crystals? Instant. No, nah, that's Folgers. This was instant coffee. I never got. I never. We never fucked with that. Dude. It would do that with a bunch of sugar and some cream. It's so good. There's probably 7,000 milligrams of caffeine in that shit, though. Yeah. It's fucking... Talk about nitro. Dude, it's rocket fuel. Yeah. Right. I remember having that when I was a kid. They'd give me a little bit what was of the, What was the cup of coffee brand you had cooking at the crib? What Patty get? Um, and I assume it was... 
was it the big was it the metal container or she do the bag the fresh ground brat bag at the supermarket it was in the freezer i know that Whoa. yeah it was always in the freezer um along with the jewelry <laughs> cut that <laughs> <laughs> um do you remember when the freeze dried things came out the bricks? Yeah, yeah, it was that. He didn't then keep it in there once it was open. Yeah, I mean, she did. She kept it in there and folded oh, it down. Freezer burnt coffee, dude. That's cr- that's a wild combo. Chock full of nuts was big over at that the house. Only, I didn't. I never knew what that was, and I saw it. It seems so sexual to me. <laughs> Chock full of nuts. That's cock full of nuts is right there. That was too. I thought that was like a bit. You bought, I thought that was coffee, coffee that Spencer's gift sold or something. Hey, keep your gangbang juice out of my <laughs> yeah. house. Your erotic greeting cards. <laughs> you fucking perverts. This looks like coffee and they would have in a movie. Like Chock full of nuts. Yeah, yeah, like like where it just says they're drinking beer and it just says beer, beer on the yeah. side. I think that's a big brand. It is, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it was. Uh, well, she always had to have two. She had to have decaf for the old man. Uh huh. Because at a certain point he couldn't do caffeine anymore. When he was young, he started having uh, panic attacks and stuff like that. Not panic attacks, but he was having like anxiety attacks because of the caffeine. Because my dad sounds familiar. He would roll down. Well, that's why I lay off the I lay off the coffee a little bit. He would roll down uh, for work, and he would pour a cup of coffee. He would do maybe three quarters of a cup of coffee, then finish the rest of it with cold water, and just boom, boom, do that twice, and then fucking out the door. And he'd come home at fucking five o'clock, breathing into a paper bag. Like, <laughs> Talk about redlining. Jesus <laughs> yeah, Christ, dude. dude. So fucking she had downshift, will you? She had to <laughs> throw it into second. Relax. Hey, two kids to look after. Um, so he had he had to switch to decaf, which I believe was Folgers. It was Folgers and the green thing. That's always how I yeah. knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay away from that. I need to <laughs> give, give me the real shit. Give yeah. me the blue. Why would you rock with? Uh, mom was typically Folgers or that eight o'clock. I think it was oh, eight o'clock. Yeah. It was the red bag. You would yeah. get the beans, and then at the super fresh, they would grind the beans. What? What? You did that? I didn't. I'm just saying. Your mom did that. Your mom was doing fresh beans, getting them fresh grounded. My mom did, did that, that once. She free. thought it was a scam. I know they did. They it ground it for free, and I loved it. it was, I loved the smell. Oh, of it. dude! I, I would go over and play with it as a uh, kid. All the, the dust. The place that I worked downtown, we used to we fresh ground the coffee, and that was one of the things the side work you would do. You go down to the basement with fucking. Stick I can't remember the beans, <laughs> dude. It smelled. It made you want coffee so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I had bad anxiety because I, I had that thirty thousand dollar espresso machine <laughs> behind me, and I would just fucking crush double espressos, cappuccinos, mm-hmm. and all that shit all day. Yeah, walk out of there thinking the cops were looking for me. Yeah, she did. So she would do that. A you were you, that you were Maxwell doing house, maybe. you were doing the fucking grinding the beans uh-huh. at the grocery but store. But this bra would forget to grind them and food. just bring the beans back. So like she throw was, a couple in your mouth and you crunch. Know, you had to like go back to be like, yeah, I, you know, just go. You run in and ask them to, you know, oh. look like we were bringing outside goods in. <laughs> hey man, I got beans. Can you grind them for me? <laughs> it was a tough look. I remember being like, I'm not going in there. I'm not asking the guy. Like, you, this is your mistake. Oh, what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. That we stayed away from that. Mm-hmm. That was that was fancy shit. Getting the beans ground there. Yeah. Because the supermarket stepped it, it up know, a little bit. It was, but it was free. It was free ground. It doesn't matter. It something. They yeah, get no, you I get somehow. it. I get it. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. when they started doing the the artisanal coffee beans that were in like the little shoots. You'd put them into your little coffee bag. No, we didn't do that. We Crazy. had the, the pre sealed <clears throat> bags. Yeah. Yeah, it was like you would buy it ground, and it would just be in the beans, and then they would open it and dump it in. Oh, man. Sound like an old Chevy turning over. Fresh cup of coffee right there. Not bad. Um, That's a good cue. All right, this one's from Samantha. Also $10 homie here. Is it garbage to use a family member's address for a child to attend a school that's not in town because... because the the actual town the child lives in has shitty schools. That's how state champions are won. I don't know yeah, what you're talking that's, about. Uh, <laughs> although it is a little, it's wonky. Oh, it's trashy, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but you're doing the best for the kid, typically. Of course. But we, I had a buddy that was that kid. I had two buddies that were that kid, actually. And the one was using it to go here. The other one was using it to go there. They were using each other's address to go to the, the school they weren't going sure. to. Sure. 
which is always like where the mail gets sent and stuff. It's like real. It's a real they weird. They pop you for that, too. Yeah. Tax dollars at work. You know sure. What I mean? Yeah. But we had a pretty good school district, so people would do it all the time. And like, you know, I got getting, you know, taking the fucking city bus up or something. <laughs> Bad look. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking I like that. That's how fucking that's how state champs are fucking born right there. Fucking um, bringing the kids in. All right. This one's from Ryan McElroy. Is it garbage to try to disguise your high your high dollar purchases? Example. Making a purchase in a jeweler store, but putting it in a bag from Foot Locker or breaking up the box your flat screen came in so the neighborhood doesn't know you got a new TV at Christmas. Always do that. You never you never a, put the box out. That's of, a rest in peace. That's a Chris Cotton 100%. joke. You cut it up. You cut the box up a little bit and put it out a few days at a time so no one knows you got fresh fucking gear. Yeah, absolutely. Like Shawshank when he's getting rid of the dirt. Just yeah. <laughs> you, got a, you got a fucking Panasonic box falling out of your leg. Yeah, you never just slap a fucking 72-inch fucking uh, Samsung box out front. No. You might as well put a bullseye on the house. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I never. We never really fucking thought of that. I think of that shit now that I'm... I mean, maybe my parents are doing it. I don't remember. We also, my dad just got rid of the trash. He just took all the trash to the office. He was real weird about trash. That, and we'd go find dumpsters to put stuff in. Nice. I get caught every morning behind a bag. I got caught. I'm like, stop making me do it. I fucking minute, hated wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. We go to this bank off Street Road. Just like the house trash? Like coffee yeah, grounds, he didn't eggs? Like it at the he didn't like it at the crib. What do you mean? He's a crazy guy. He just was like, I you don't know. You didn't have the trash cans outside? We would. But he would take it with him. You'd get caught, little fat kid, getting out of the car. Oh, yes. I got caught a bunch. I'd have to take, like, I remember the one time. I mean, at this point, I was driving. I was probably, like, 17. I was driving, like, a work truck. Oh, he would make you do it himself. Okay. Or he I'd wasn't... go with him, and he'd go hop out, and I'd have to pop the trunk and fuck it. <laughs> felt like you're doing a bank job, dude. Also, who knows? If something went down, he might have fucking peeled out and left me there, too. You know what I mean? It's every man for himself when the fuzz comes. He runs up and grabs you by the shirt. I got the little fucker. <laughs> Officer, citizen's arrest. I caught this kid throwing my trash away. Man. Yeah. That was what would big. the bank manager say? No, it wasn't the manager. It was like, I think the cops on oh, Tree Road, the cops would up. be like, you know, there's no dumping in here. And we were like, oh, yeah, I don't know, the guy, you know. No hobbling glaze, pal. Let's go. Hey, beat it, flat foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gumshoe, kick rocks, will you? Why don't you go crack another case, all right? This, this case is closed. <laughs> oh, man, that's a tough one. <laughs> I know. You're getting busted by the cops for dumping. I got caught by, I was getting rid of furniture or something. Not furniture, but like, no, bag. it was trash. It was like con contractor bags. And I was throwing them in a dumpster off bustle to like down like some, like in northeast somewhere. And uh, I got got. The guy goes, yo, no dumping in there. I was like, all right, my bad. I had to, like, pull it out and put it back in. Sure. And he came and was like, oh, any of that yours? Some of it was. I got like, oh, some of it. Did you ever have this? If somebody, a family, a family friend, if anybody was getting something done at the house and there was a dumpster, oh, yeah. that would be open season. They, no. We would alert each other. Hey, just so you know, we have the dumpster in the driveway. Sure. If you're trying to get rid of anything, bring it over. Mm -hmm. Oh, when they'd come for miles, It'd be like Field of Dreams, <laughs> a bunch of dirt bags coming out, <laughs> coming out of the corn, dude. I'm telling you, I got an old bike. <laughs> yeah. Just a bunch of brown Christmas trees, <laughs> <laughs> old bikes, sewing machines, washing washer dryers, all that shit. Dude, we had a dumpster in our driveway. I'm not even at my at my dad's house. I'm not even fucking around for. Two years. They're maybe. good to have. Two years. What was just, he doing? Working the house? I never really started though, so it was just like trash and stuff. First thing you do is get the dumpster. Yeah, <laughs> drop the dumpster. Yeah, and it dropped. I at one point the dumpster company's like, "We got to come get this." Like it's, <laughs> you haven't, you know, it's not just like a full yet. Yeah, that was bad. I used to work for a landscaping guy, this old Irish guy, and he would, uh, we'd go into a yard. I swear to God, uh huh, go into a backyard. <coughs> cut down some trees, do this, do that. And if they were up against any type of wooded area. Just over the, over the side. Over the side. Yeah, that I respect. I got caught a couple of times. He put me in a couple of bad situations doing that. Because we're in like a pretty nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I just get me, just throw it over. I'm like, there's people. Yeah. There's people like barbecuing. Yeah, they're back. in their pool and shit. 
Yeah, lady came up and started screaming at me. This guy's deer dumping. Oh, my God, no, we're going to get it. We just do it to put it over. <laughs> it's just it's a joke. I'm playing a prank on him. Just shut up. We'll take care of it. You don't watch MTV, do you? <laughs> um, uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Tanello. Shout out to uh, the Tanellos up there in, Is it? in Baston. Oh. When at a restaurant and the waiter asks you a question and your mouth is full, do you answer the question or do you wait till you're done chewing? That's a pretty refined question. I got to give you that. Tanello's a real dirtbag. I'll always give you. It's great. I'll give you they, I guess they know. As you're as a, you are a waiter, I guess you would you assume that if people are sitting there. I eating, would ambush people all the time and they would look at me. Give like, me your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta finish that. Because <laughs> um, those are the steps to service. You're supposed to check back like after the first two minutes to make sure everything's good. If I, I'd catch everybody mid bite. But it should also just be a yes or no question, so you can give a nod of like, "Is everything okay?" And you go, mm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll do that. Like, oh, it's good. oh yeah, yeah, of course. If I got a mouthful of fucking you know prosciutto or whatever, uh-huh. I give them the a okay or a thumbs up. I'm like, yeah, it's good. This is a good one. Yeah. But you can't be like, hey, what'd you do today? You know what I mean? It's got to be a yes or no question. <laughs> The hand over the mouth while you're talking is no good either. That's no good, but it's polite. It's you're you're in a bad spot. You know what I mean? It's not like you're telling a story of like so. The other day, I was walking down the street. You're answering a question because. But I ate over a kid's <laughs> house once when I was younger, and the family didn't talk while they were eating. Well, most so the mom and the dad, and they would kind of like reprimand you, not reprimand you, but like when the food hit the table and they were eating. I like I like I was like chit chatting with the old man. I'm like, hey, you catch that Phillies game, Mr. <laughs> and the mom was like, we 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 refrain from from talking while 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 we're eating. It's better for digestion. I was like, well, I'll take my dinner back in America. <laughs> take right? a, take a good look around his place. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be seeing my fat ass in here anymore. Uh, I like to chit chat. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Crazy. Were you a TV on? Oh yeah. At the if the table was on, the TV was on in the other room, or like, or I guess. TV well, on. If you're, if you're set up now, the kitchen table TV would be on in the living room. Uh, kinda. During the week, yeah, Action News would be on, so Patty could see what Jim Gardner was yapping about. Uh huh. What he was wearing. Yeah, what he was doing. They'd want to know what's going on. What's going on in Felly? Um, but I remember being a little kid in our house in Mountaintop, and we had a little TV. Muffin top. <laughs> we had a little <laughs> muffin top PA. I remember sitting at the kitchen table. We had a little TV watching MASH while I ate. And I was like, ooh, this is clean living. My friend had the little like nine at nine inch or whatever in the kitchen, the TV. Like it was like mounted under the thing. I thought that was like we were in like a NASA fucking TV in the kitchen center. is about as cozy as it gets. Um, We would have it on because like where, you know, where we interviewed Denise. Sure. That table. And you could see into the living. Like oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have it on, and sometimes if she was like fed up, she'd be like, "Turn it off, like mm-hmm. go turn the TV off." But if there was, you know, we, it was on a good chunk, unless it was like a everybody sit down and we're, you know, yeah, eating and watching TV. That's fucking as good as it gets. I don't hate it, baby. No, it's all I right. I hate it. It's all um, right. All right, let's see. This one's just funny. This is from Nick. Is it garbage to sit in the back seat of your own car? <laughs> You're pretty jammed up if you're in the back seat. You're fucked. You're drunk. Yeah. You're in the back seat. You're drunk. <laughs> Which I have been, and it's strange. But that could be a rich guy thing. I don't think that's what Nick meant. <laughs> <laughs> Nick was Nick gets blackout drunk and then gets in the back of his Corolla. He's not. He's, he's not getting driven in his Phantom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice try. Nice save. But come on. Yeah, if you're in the back of a Nissan going, a lot of leg room back here. Yeah, uh, this is bigger than I thought. <laughs> you're drunk. Yeah. You just puked on yourself. You're asking to stop at Wendy's. <laughs> Come on. That's good. Um, all right, let's see here. This is from Reimenhofer. $20 shareholder Hello. here. Shout out to it. Is uh-huh. a garbage to make change in the church collection basket? Had to break a 20. Listen, I'm not a man of the Lord anymore. I don't know. Is there a thing to like if you do drop the you do? I don't know. What are you giving? Ten? Maybe it's listen. It's fucking trash. Sure. To do that. It's not even that. It's a matter of <laughs> hey, go, hey, hey, get back to where you're going with that 20, pal. It's a matter <laughs> of timing that they, they're fucking moving. So for, 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 for the non-Catholics out there, 
when heathens. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in hell. Put me in the back of my key. Let's go. Be <laughs> <laughs> devil worshippers out there. Uh, when right before right before they they do communion, which which is like a, a little cracker. The wafer. Yeah, they they hit you up for a little scratch. You know what I mean? You, you got bills to pay, so they they got they got these old got lo- cases to cover. They can take- <laughs> <laughs> Hey, moving fees ain't cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so they have these old. Father st- O'Malley had to get sent to eight different states last month. They have these old schoolers come around, usually a nice blue blazer and a pair of fucking uh, gray, gray cat, gray chinos, as sure. they called them. Tons of cologne. Old old guys in the church. They come around and fucking, you know, a little something for the effort. Yeah. But it's a t- you, they got to keep now, it do moving. They take a percent of that. They're- do they get 10 percent if they upsell you? No. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. But I have seen them whacking it up in the back of the church. Oh, that was fun. They put it in a bag. Uh, they put it in like a you know like a potato sack. Dude, they were like they were like casino guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you started putting it all together. You're like, oh fuck, they're in the back. They're it's sitting in, uh, the church. The church that we grew up going to was attached to a school, obviously. So they're sitting in like one of those little seats, like for like a th- first grader at like a like a little you know communal desk, fucking just whacking up fucking twenties, mm-hmm. like casino. Um. But they got to keep it moving. They don't got time. Make change. They don't got time to be dealing with that I shit. I know. My thing is, yes, it's a tough look. But I do get it. If you're like, I, I give ten or whatever, then I would, I would just put the twenty in and then just not give the next week. Sure. Be like, I got you. It's a yeah. wish wash or whatever. Or here's a dub. I'm good for the month if you're doing sure. fivers. Sure. But that's they don't just put me. the screws in that much anymore either. They do it. They do it real quick. Dude, you're not in the there. '80s. They would stop right in front of you, like, "Let's go." Dude, we were somewhere. They'd we... hit you with it. <laughs> with the bang. <laughs> the get your pain. finger out of your ass. Let's go. <laughs> uh, they were somewhere, and they uh, we were somewhere at my church, like the church we grew up going to. But I was older. I think they were doing like an addition or something. And they were putting like a new gym on or something. They ran it back. They did two collections. I remember my dad going, "He's motherfucker!" Like right away, he's like, "These greedy bastards running the balls to run it back." And that one was quick, man. Nobody was reaching for their one, dude. They would just get to the out. Nope. Okay. Nope. All right. Nope. The people were fucking before he even got there. People would give him the fucking wave off. Like keep it moving, pal. Fucking gym's leaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you cheap bastards. <laughs> that's good. Um, all right, let's do one more. And then we got a ripper up here. Oh, uh, this one's from Robert Redford's penis. Don't know if that's his government <laughs> that's name. All right. New $10 homie here. Never had a question, Red. Are you garbage if you had to sleep in a tent inside of your grandfather's house because it was so dirty? That's fucking nuts. Wild. That's like hoarder shit. That's what I picture, like. Cat, dead cats or cat, dude. Hoarders fucking makes my skin curl. Mm-mm. I can smell those houses. Mm-mm. I remember I was going door to door selling whatever the fuck. There's always a dead cat squished between some newspaper somewhere. Uh huh. And I remember I this they oh this family opened up the ha- like the door. They were like hoarders, like you know that's like also like tends to be somewhat of a crazy. Was that thing. around back in the day or is that a newer thing? I think it was. Oh yeah, I think it's always been around. I think it just recently had a name to it. Huh. Okay. You know, or like became. More of a understand un- understood thing. Okay, but this family man, you open it up and it was like floor to ceiling. The like, family, yeah, there was ki- a kid, Ooh. newspapers, fucking no sleepovers there. Oh, <laughs> probably a couple of kids got lost, <laughs> like fucking Everest. They're fro they're frozen behind the shoe boxes. <laughs> the old Anderson boy <laughs> <laughs> went into three o three and never heard, was heard of again. Yikes! But. And he was like, he was wanted to just talk to me or like maybe he thought he could get something for free or wanted the papers or something. Wait, so this, this, tell me this I was again. going door to door selling like windows, roofing and siding. Oh, OK. And I got to him and he's like, oh, I'll. he was like, this made his month to like talk to me. Ugh. So, Probably a waft came out of that oh, door. Dude, I, remember, I like dry heaving talking to him. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, first of all, there's no just, way. Just got out of Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Southwest chicken salad oh, in you. Fucking ready to gag. Got a bad sweater vest on, too. I'm sitting there like a bozo. Had a jacket with a lift ticket on it. <laughs> Looking like a fucking asshole. And this guy was just jerking me around. I wouldn't be like, I, I think I walked away finally, buddy. 
Listen, you ain't got that. You ain't got the disposable income or the care to put in new. Or the room. What are you doing? <laughs> he just wanted the windows just to have them. Just pile in the trash. Oh, man. Yeah. Did you hit get that a lot? What? Just people... I, it was mostly get off my fucking yard. Sure, but did you get a you get did you get a few sad people who just wanted somebody to talk yeah. to for a little I, while? Well, the lie was you would go. We're doing some work in the neighbor. We're doing work at one of your <laughs> you neighbors' house. He didn't drug you and eat your fat ass. <laughs> I know. Well, you always step back a little bit. There was tactics to canvassing. What do you mean step back from the door? Yeah. What are they? So no. So you're not. It's a sales tactic. So you're not threatening them. You're not like right up on the door, like, "Hey, what are you doing in there?" And also, <laughs> it also lets them open the door. Because if you're there, they won't Hold open on. the door. Nothing scarier than somebody knocking on your screen door. By the way, uh, yeah. <laughs> that shit rattles the whole house. I know. You want to get the Foley's in an uproar? Fucking bang on the screen door. I sucked, man. Pop up like prairie dogs. I had to be so in. People would get so mad. You see them in there, and you're like, <laughs> I know you're fucking. I can see you in there, Walter. Let's go. Get out of here so I can rip you off. Yeah, get out of here, and I'll charge you 50 grand for a roof. <laughs> yeah, ah, it's good stuff. But we got to wrap her up, gang. Gang, we love you. See you at the live stream. See you at the live stream. See Buy today. The save save, a, save a two, three bucks. You know what I mean? Start the year off right with the boys. Let's do it. We love you, gang. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.